Hey, uh, we're your chemistry teachers. I'm Mr. Schultz, Mr. Trumbar, Mr. Colazar, Mrs. Stuber. The Mrs. Um, we're going to do some pre-lab videos for many of the labs this year, and we just want to introduce ourselves. You'll see us kind of intermediately coming in and out of these videos, showing you what's going to come up the next day in the lab. So, hi. All right, hi. Uh, today's lab, your main focus is going to be on your observation and experimental skills. Um, we have four chemicals today. We have sodium bicarbonate, we have calcium chloride, we have phenol red, and water. Phenol red, it's worth noting, is actually the, this powder that Mr. Colzar is holding, and it's mixed with water uh, to be this dye here. So it's actually two chemicals, it's water and phenol red here, whereas this is just water. Uh, for today's experiment, we have a Ziploc baggie. You're going to put the, four, uh, the three chemicals, no water for this part here, you're going to put them into separate locations in the bag, and uh, so start off by putting one in the corner, like so. And then another person in the group should section off that chemical so that when you add the next one, it's not going to mix. So put the other chemical in the other corner. Then have another group member section that off. And your third chemical you'll add for this part of the experiment will be the, the phenol red. Drop it the pipette and place it right here. Again, you're sectioning it off so it can't mix. With the pipette, you squeeze the pipette bulb in first, place it into the water, and then let the pipette bulb go in order to pull the liquid up. I think we get a second. Bravo. Okay, at this point here, I want to try to get a little bit of the air out and then zip it up like so. And then your job is to take the baggie and mix it. And we're not going to do that, but you're going to mix it up. And you're going to make some careful observations. You're going to try to, you know, touch it, see how it feels. You're going to try to visually see what's going on there, maybe listen for some things. And your main goal here is observation here. That's part A. All right, welcome back. This is part two. Uh, you're really going to focus on controlled experiments for this portion of, the, of your experiment today. And a controlled experiment is where you try to isolate one variable and see how the other variables influence it. So my recommendation for the video or for the for the experiment is to maybe start with calcium chloride and mix it with sodium bicarbonate and see what happens. And once that particular combination is done, now try calcium chloride in the second experiment and then try with the next one, the phenol red with water, and write your observations down. Be very detailed in what you do over here. And um, it is possible some of your things will do nothing. And if that's ever the case, um, Let's say you mix these two together and they do nothing. Then maybe add a third chemical, maybe like the water this time or something, and, and, and write down what that does when you see that. So um, it is possible. Nothing is an observation. That's okay. But be very detailed. And Mr. Colzer, I want you to talk about the thermometer. One of the other things you're going to use is once you've put the two chemicals into the well plate for each of your experiments, using your thermometer as a stir stick to stir the two chemicals, and then to notice how the temperature is either increasing, decreasing, or if it stays the same, is going to be another good observation there. All right, this is your lab, observation and experiment. Come ready tomorrow.